This is Math 127, uh, test number one. I'm going to go through all the problems on the review. Uh, so we're going to start out with 1A. 1A, we're given a shape that looks like a globe, and we want to find the distance between A and B. Given the radius is 4,000, and the theta in between is 21. Now, formula that you have to know for this one, in order to do arc length and area of a sector, which is what they're asking on this one, you need to use first s equals r theta. The main thing to remember about the theta is theta has to be in terms of radians. Uh, so when we put this into the formula, we want to make sure that's in radians. So that's the first thing we'll do. We're going to take uh, the theta is equal to 21 degrees, but we're going to multiply that by pi over 180. That's the conversion uh, formula for it. We'll multiply by pi over 180, and then we're going to reduce. So it's always better to reduce this if you can. So we're going to do 21 divided by 180. Uh, and by doing that, we'll get 7 pi over 60. And this is the theta that you want to use for this problem. You don't want to use 21. That's in degrees. You want to change it into radians. So arc length is equal to 4,000. And we're going to multiply it by 7 pi over 60, which is our theta. You're going to multiply across the top, across the bottom, and reduce. And so one of the zeros uh, will cancel out there. We get 7 times 400, that's, uh, we get 28 with two zeros, and we're going to divide that by 6. You can reduce this one more time, and so if you reduce it one more time, uh, you'll get the answer in the key, which is 1400 pi divided by 3. So this is the first part what they wanted to do is to find the arc length and that's what we found. Now the second thing it asks for is the area of a sector. Now for area of a sector, so I'll give you a second to, to get this down and then I'm going to erase it. Uh, so next, we're now going to do uh, area of a sector. So we're going to do area equals one half r squared theta. It's a formula. Don't forget about the square. Uh, you're going to take the radius, which is 4,000, and you're going to multiply it by the same theta that we have here. So we're going to use 7 pi over 60 uh, to put that in. So again, we're using the same theta that we had before, must be in radians. We're going to square this and multiply it all uh, together. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to give you the, uh, the final answer on it. Now you could write this in terms of pi if you want to, uh, so that would be 16 uh, with uh, six zeros there times a seven divided by 60. You could do all that. Uh, so I'll just give you what the final answer is: 28 with five zeros, pi, and that's going to be divided by three. Now for each of these problems, you could change all this into decimals, and I do have that on the key. Um, but it's not necessary to do so uh, unless it asks for it. So if, uh, on a test, I would tell you, write your answer in terms of pi or round uh, to the nearest decimal. So uh, in this case, uh, it's okay to leave your answer in terms of pi. And so this is what you would get when you multiply all this together.